It's few days to the presidential primary of the All Progressives Congress, and party stakeholders, including governors, are strategizing to ensure that the party produces a stronger candidate to retain the seat of president in 2023. President Buhari earlier appealed to the governors to allow him to choose his successor, but the governors have since been meeting to weigh the options of the party in the exercise scheduled for the 6th to 8th of June. Ahead of the primary, some of the presidential aspirants have engaged delegates in several states to boost their chances of winning the party's ticket. Now, let's talk about the party's preparation for the All Progressives primaries. I have joining me political economist and analyst Ayobami Oyalowo. He joins us via Zoom from Abuja. Good to have you join us, Ayobami. Thank you for having me. Let me get your thoughts on this. I mean, you saw how the um, PDP primaries went. They had lesser number of delegates. Um, it does seem like the APC is going to have over um, 2,000, 3,000 delegates. In terms of logistics and preparation for these primaries, how do you expect things to go? Uh, well, uh, the PDP had uh, one delegate per local government. Why the APC went for three delegates per local government? Uh, the logistics is, is, is still fair enough compared to what it would have been if we had the uh, statutory delegate, which would have made it about 738,000 uh, number of delegates. So it's it's not uh, unworthy. It's not something that cannot be controlled. So I think it's uh, they will get the logistics right, and um, Abuja has enough hotels to accommodate uh, just about 3,000 people. So I think they should be able to handle that without so much rancor and problems. Mm. Uh, let's talk about the, the latest position of the president in terms of asking the governors to allow him choose a consensus candidate. Um, he said that, look, he, he's been allowing the governors to do that in their state, so um, perhaps they should also give him the privilege to do that. Um, what's, what's your thought on that? And, and, and if that were to happen, how do you think that the primaries will play out, looking at the number of candidates who are interested, or aspirants rather, who are interested in that position? Well, uh, um, I was actually trying to get a message here. His uh, spokesperson, Mr. Femi Adeshino, debunked that uh, use of language. He told everyone who listened that uh, the president never used the word consensus and never said he wants to impose anybody. However, what the president, what he said the president was saying is that uh, the party should follow a certain set of guidelines to pick somebody who is acceptable to the entire country. So I think uh, those people that have been shouting consensus, uh, um, uh, uh, anointing, and all those things are the ones who have deliberately picked out some words out of the message of the president, and they have decided to give it a life of its own. I don't think the president will force anybody on the party because he doesn't make the party. The entire sum of the party makes up the party. So. The president is just one person, and yes, he's the leader of the party, no doubt about that. His mission is very, very important, no doubt about that. But he cannot single-handedly impose one man on the entire party and then, by extension, the country. So I, I think people need to take a breather. People need to calm down and see how things play out. I, I foresee a situation where there will be a contest because from what is uh, happening now, the, the, uh, the aspirants, as it were, are still engaging. Mm -hmm. Yesterday we saw the leading aspirant, Bola at Abed Tinobu Diashuaju. He's going around still meeting people, both in Oyo and Oguste. So I, I don't think there is a plan to force anybody but, down. But let anybody me ask to... you, Mr. Yellow, uh, uh, the president has, um, they're, they're, rather, there are over 700 delegates in the Northeast and Northwest. Um, the president yeah. has popularity in that in that area, especially in the north, where you look at the number of votes he has been able to garner in that region um, in the yeah. 2015 and 2019 election. You think that if the president has a preferred candidate um, and he leaves or aspirant and he leaves that hand today and say, this is the person I want, that there are not enough people who will stand behind the president to support him and ensure yeah. that, that, that that person becomes the candidate? I think we should let that happen. Instead of this uh, second guessing President Buhari, it's better for him to lift the person he wants and, and then let the people now decide if they want to. If after seven years of his being president, if he has influenced them enough to make them do what he wants them to do when he's already leaving the office, then let them do that. But it is better that is done than all this second guessing whether he said or he didn't say. 
I mean, he spent seven years in power now. So if he still has that kind of power and influence over the people where he lifts a hand and everybody will line up behind it, so be it. However, let the contest, like people have been saying, let it be democratic, let it be fair and fair. He has a right to have a preferred candidate. However, all the aspirants also have a right to contest if they wish to. Therefore, and then following the, uh, the electoral act that has become a law, you cannot force consensus if every aspirant does not write mm. to withdraw their candidature and accept consensus. So I don't think all these postulations are something that is uh, uh, that cannot be handled. And I don't think it is once, I mean, be one and for all. So clearly, if the president have a preferred candidate, then let him lift his hand and then let us see if everyone will line up behind that candidate. Mm. Um, just in, in, in a few seconds, because we, we do have to go, do you, do you, there were, we know that there are internal rancors within every party, but after the primaries, um, do you expect that the APC will still be um, a united party? I mean, those were the speculations that the party is not going to remain the same irrespective of how the primaries go. Yeah, my answer will be very simple. If the APC does what is right in its primaries and a preferred aspirant becomes a candidate without any um, twisting of somebody or some people to step down by force, then I believe they will stand together because people would rather lose dignified, I mean, in a dignified manner than being uh, embarrassed and, uh, and, and disrespected. So if the primaries goes the way it should go, then I believe the APC might still remain the party to beat. However, if they are untreated people and force people uh, and disgracefully force people out of the contest, then whatever they see, it, it is good for them. Thank you so much for talking to us, political economist and analyst Ayobami Oyalowo. Thank you for having me.